Hey guys, Sean here from The Great Curtain. We're going to be looking at bass drum mics today. Uh, so first, we're going to be looking at this Bear Dynamic Opus 99. Then we're going to be taking a bit of a look at this EV mic. This is the ND68. Uh, so first, the uh, Bear Dynamic. Uh, I've been using this for a few recordings already. Um, I usually use this on the quote unquote out position. Um, and how I usually place the mic is I put it um, just inside the head, basically just past where the grill is. So if you could um, see on this drum head we have here, I place it just about there, just inside. Um, so actually let me even rotate it like this. So I place it about like that. I use a different mic that I have actually permanently mounted inside, um, in the AKG D112. Uh, but for purposes of demonstration today, we're just going to be messing with these on the out position. So, as far as mounting this is concerned, obviously it attaches to a uh, standard thread mic stand. Um, it has a little guy here you can loosen up. So you can adjust this. Uh, it holds pretty well. This whole mechanism here rotates as well. Um, it has a pretty tight grip. Um, and then on the back here, this loosens, loosens up a little bit, so you can plug the mic in, uh, cable in, and then once it's in, you tighten it up just to try to have a little bit of a better grip on the cable. The EV mic is, um, is fairly similar. Um, obviously, this whole um, mechanism here, this is a lot uh, bulkier, um, which may or may not be an issue. I, I probably one from out here is probably okay. Um, this feels like it has a pretty good um, um, amount of tightness. I don't think it's going to move all too much. It does look like on both sides there's a flathead screwdriver in case you need to uh, tighten that up. Um, again, this whole piece rotates like this. Uh, unlike the Bayer, which just rotated with whatever tension it had, the EV mic actually can be um, adjusted so you can actually loosen this up. It's got this really uh, kind of heavy duty uh, metal screw for adjusting so you can loosen it up. Actually the whole thing can come off and you can tighten it up. This is very similar to a different EV mic so this is similar to this EV Tom mic, the ND44, where it's got a similar sort of mechanism for tightening and loosening one of the joints. So. Uh, the only thing that this um, doesn't have that the Bayer does have is that there's no mechanism in the back for tightening or loosening the, uh, the cable. Um, definitely in a studio situation, I don't think that matters all too much. Um, I don't know uh, how much um, in a live situation you might have cables getting pulled out of bass drum mics, but I, don't, I haven't uh, ever seen that sort of an issue. All right, so I've had a little bit of time to listen back to the two uh, recordings now. Uh, so in my thoughts, I think the uh, Bayer Dynamic mic has a little bit more of uh, maybe mid, mid-high range. I have a little bit more of like a clicky sound coming out of it. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the EV mic definitely has a lot more of like a low end thud. Actually, um, personally, I actually don't like a clicky sounding bass drum. Um, although sometimes if, when I'll do a two mic setup, I'll have one mic sound a little bit more clicky or, you know, have more of the attack sound and the other mic will be more of a thud. Usually I try to do more of the attack sound on my, uh, the microphone I have inside. So for my setup, actually, I think the EV mic might work out a little bit better than the Bayer Dynamic. 
So what do you guys think? Leave a comment or question or anything else. Till then, peace.